Hello and welcome to my channel. I am talking about classic diamond art today and actually I'm talking about paint by number. I have been contacted by a company who wanted me to try something and I haven't done this in so long. I was just a child when I did a paint by number and it was not at all as sophisticated as paint by numbers are now. So they offered to send me the two kits of my choice. So I selected one for me and I selected one for you and we're going to have a giveaway. So today I'm going to unbox these two paint by number kits. We're going to take a look at the canvases, take a look at the pictures and the paints that come in and what comes in the box. That's what we'll do today. And then next time we talk, I will have painted the canvas with some gesso and I'll show you a little bit about how to do that. And then we're going to really dig into what we're going to do with our paints and I will show you a little bit about that too. I know a little bit about painting. I'm a freelance painter from way back and I haven't painted in a long time but when this company and the name of the company is Susingo, Susingo, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, they're on all manner of social media. They're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. All of these social media. And they invite you to go there and take a look at what they have. Mostly what they have are toys, and their toys are kind of innovative. I thought they were pretty neat. But I went out and took a look. And um, so when they contacted me, I was curious, so I went out and looked. But now, uh, I really appreciate them graciously sending me these two kits. And it just asked me if I would unbox them, but I'm going to do one more. I am going to unbox, and then in my next video, I'll show you a little bit how to get started on a paint-by-number kit, uh, whether it's from this company or from any other company. So uh, the, the one kit that I've already opened, and this is the kit that I bought for myself, this actually comes with a frame, and I did not realize that. I thought I would have to frame it myself. But this comes with a frame, so I will show all that to you here in just a few minutes when we unbox our kits. This kit is the kit I have not opened at all yet. I have opened this other one, but I haven't opened this one. And we'll look at it together and see what's inside. Now, I want to show you the picture of the paint by number kit that I selected for myself. Is that amazing or what? Now, I know there's a lot of detail in there. I may have bitten off more than I can chew, but I just thought it was a very beautiful, beautiful painting. And up here in the clouds, I plan to do some blending in there, and I'll show you how I do that as well. Um, there are a lot of um, other YouTubers who do that, and you can certainly look at their YouTube videos, or you can wait around until I get to the sky on mine, and I'll blend that together and show you um, how you can make it look a little more realistic. Right up here, it's typical paint-by-number lines on there, but you can blend those together and make it look so much more artistic. Now, the rest of it needs no help at all. This is the side of a mountain, which I won't be working any blending on, probably, and the buildings, either one. Um, none of this will probably have to be blended, but uh, usually the sky and a lot of times a facial features will need to be blended just a little bit with a paint by number has specific lines and you'll definitely want to blend those on a face or on hands any kind of skin or uh, in the sky in the ground you know if there's a lot of grass sometimes you can blend the colors together and they're quite gorgeous when you do that and you've already painted the picture initially and then when you go back and blend it you can blend it to make it look the way you want so paint by number is fun I've, like i said i've done it before but it's been a long time and i thought i would give this a, a try so let's go to the work table and open these two kits this is of course just a printed picture of the painting but i'm going to get it up here where you can see it and i'm going to tell you a little bit about this particular location in italy this is called the Cinque Terre, and that's C-I-N-Q-U-E-T-E-R-R-E, -R -R -E, and I'll put that at the bottom of the screen so you can see it on here. But uh, Cinque Terre is a string of uh, very, very old seaside villages, or fishing villages, and they're at the very top of the Italian Riviera. It's on the, on the coastline, obviously, because there's the ocean. 
And in each of the five towns along this Cinque Terre, Cinque means five in French, so it means five towns. Let me get this up here where you can see it. It's not all five towns, but this is a picture of one of the towns. And in each of the five towns, colorful houses and vineyards cling to the terraces, and the harbors are filled with fishing boats, and they turn out seafood specialties with, you know, pesto sauce, things like that. So that's what they specialize in. And the cliffside hiking trails link the villages together, and they offer gorgeous views and a sweeping view of the ocean. Now, this is a very hot tourist location in Italy, and I love the colors of the houses. That I think that really just sets off this picture and the location where it is on the edge of the cliff right here and it's just gorgeous just gorgeous so i thought this would be a nice first attempt at paint by numbers so i'm going to pull that back down let's open this box this is a paint by numbers box it's so nicely done this is beautifully done the marketing is very very nice the box is very high quality and so I wanted to open this on camera and let you see it. Look how nice the box is even in the, in the bottom. <laughs> it's very, very nice. Here's everything that's in the box. And of course you get your colors. You get all of our paints, which are, you know, the colors that are in the, the picture. Very, very beautiful. All kinds of kind of pastel-y colors. A little bit of a deep coral and a rich coral and some uh, several colors of blue very beautiful get that up there where you can see it really pretty really really pretty so those are the colors that will be in this particular painting set that aside also in the box is a set of paint brushes and these paint brushes um, they look like they're pretty good quality there are three brushes a very tiny a medium and um, a little bit larger, but you could certainly use your own brushes if you wanted to. Um, you don't have to use these, but um, these come in the box. And everything you need to do the paint by number is in here, really. Um, if you know a little bit about painting, you can do a few extra steps, but honestly, you don't have to. And also in this package is, uh, look like hangers for the back of the frame. So those come with it as well, right there. So let's set that aside now. Also in here is a, a booklet, and I think these are, oh yeah, this is a how-to booklet. It shows you how to do your paint by number, and there's several pages there. I'm still getting used to my overhead camera. There we go. All the pages. It shows you how to do the painting and um, how to get in touch with them if something goes wrong. So that's a really good pamphlet. It's very nicely done as well. Now, the frame... These are the pieces of the frame, and I don't know anything about this yet, so I'm not going to do too much with the frame. But these are the pieces of the frame that come with it. Looks like very nice wood. I used to paint, and I do have a lot of stretcher frames, and that's basically what this is. I know how to work with those. So I'll put that together, and in my next video, I'll show you how I did that. And then there's some other pieces of the frame that fit in the corners. And... I'm not sure what this is. This is maybe, I don't know. I'll have to look at the directions to see what that is. If you know what it is, tell me in the comments. I really don't know what that is. <laughs> Figure it out. And then the last thing in the box, of course, is the canvas. And let's look at the canvas, take a look at it, and see what we think. Now I have a feeling there are going to be a lot of little, little, ooh, a lot of little lines on here. Let's turn it this way. Oh yeah, that's some detail on there. Let me get this up here where you can see it. I hope that's focusing. Yes, there are some tiny, 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 tiny spaces in here. Now, the, 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 the canvas itself Let's measure the canvas. The canvas itself, the picture um, actually is 19 and a half, and going the other direction, it is, let's measure that, it's like 16. So it's 19 and a half by 16. And I'm guessing that the stretcher frames are, uh, are custom cut for this. 
Now, as you can see, here are the buildings right here. Let me get that up there too, where you can see it. Those are the buildings. Whoops. I love this canvas though. You know why? Because it's very slick. It's very, very slick. It's not porous at all. Now, on this side of the canvas, it is. It's like burlap. But when you turn it over and look at the painting itself, it's on very slick surface. I may not even have to gesso this, and I probably won't actually, because I'd like to do this the way you would um, find this kit if you bought one of these from Sosingo, then you'd know that the canvas is very, very slick. Now, when we open this other one that I have for the giveaway, I will look at the canvas and see if it's the same way, but this looks very, very slick and easy to paint on. So I will put this right on the stretcher frames, and the next video I will show you um, how to get started and what I'm doing to make it work. So let's roll this back up, or I'll do that in just a minute when I'm off camera, and let's put that away. And All right, let's open this one. This is the this is the kit that I'm giving away and was sponsored by Susingo. So they have given me this kit to give away to one of my subscribers. So I'm excited. This is really, really nice of them to do that. And it gave me a chance to take a look at a paint by number again. I know they've become very, very popular lately. So I wanted to jump on that bandwagon and just see what's out there. And let's take a look at what's in the box. This is this is the Night City, and let me show this to you. This is Night City, beautiful, beautiful painting, and it's done with some fluorescent colors. Contemporary canvases many times now are using fluorescent paints, and if they mix them nicely into the painting, it looks good. And in this one, I thought it looked very, very nice. Um, I, I wanted to order one for y'all that was a little bit on the edge, a little bit edgy, and not so um, standard like the um, sink tear like this one. This is more of a old masters type painting, but this is more contemporary. And I thought this would be a good one for the giveaway. So let me get it back up here where you can see it. This is the Night City. And let's take a look at what's in the box. Okay, let's do that. So it comes with the how-to booklet again and here is it doesn't come with the frame I have to say you can get stretch your frame for it if you need to here are the paints that are actually vacuum sealed this that's nice because they won't be getting dried up they won't keep, be getting thick they will stay nice and liquid uh, if you vacuum seal them like this in shipping so here are the fluorescent colors right here I can see that there's a pinks and oranges and some dark colors that may have a little bit of a sheen to them. And then some regular colors here. And this or orange is, looks like a fluorescent orange as well. And when I show you in my next video how to make a swatch card for your paints, like I'll, I'll be doing that for these paints right here. These are the ones that are in my kit. I'll be swatching these. And whoever wins this, or if you want to purchase a kit, you can certainly do that and swatch along with me. But there's a possibility of some transparent paint in this uh, group, but I don't know that. Whoever receives it, wins it, and receives it, you can take a look and do your swatching, and you'll see exactly which ones are transparent. And then you can block out the little colors on the canvas and that way you can paint over them and they won't show through. So that's the key to doing your swatching. So be sure you swatch. Now let's take a look at the canvas. Let's take a look at the canvas. Now this one comes with this comes with a sheet with all the the numbers on the piece of paper so you can see where the paints go. If you happen to color over something you didn't mean to then you'll know that um, what color should that number be. So you can look at this, and this is a really good guide to keep nearby so you'll know what colors to use on the different um, sections. Now, I don't see any colors in the sky, which is really interesting. All right, it says paint all the fluorescent colors first. 
Paint the fluorescent color for two to three times and then paint other color areas. Don't cover fluorescent color with other colors so as not to affect the fluorescent effect. This is new to me. This is not anything like I've seen before, but we'll see. I'll roll that back up and let's look at the canvas. Let's see what this looks like. It's got rubber bands on it. Let's see here. Oh, this is color coded. Okay. That's kind of interesting. And this has also been gessoed, looks like. Um, it's soft and smooth, but you can see that it used to be like this. And this is the um, kind of the grainy back of the canvas. It's like burlap almost. But the front of it is done in color coding. So, uh, gee, that's really interesting. I think, here's what I think looking at this. This is a newer version of Paint by Number. And what they've done here is some of the sections do not have numbers. Like this section right here does not have a number in it. So I'm not sure what you do with that, but uh, I may take another look at this when I'm off camera and see what they mean for you to do with that because there are no numbers in some of these sections. No numbers. So it could be that it's pre-colored. I'm thinking out loud now. I really don't know. Because there are no numbers here in this coral section or here in this coral section. There are no numbers there, but it looks like they're They've pre-painted it because there's some colors there that are different and there's a line between them. So I'm not really sure what this is all about. And look at this. This is already painted. Maybe you color the fluorescence on top of these colors. That may be what I'm missing. You take the fluorescent colors. Let's see if I can find them. Here they are. You take these fluorescent colors for example, the yellow, and you paint the yellow with the yellow fluorescent, all the yellows, and then you take this, I don't know, I really shouldn't assume anything, let's don't assume anything, but this is interesting, I must say, this is already gessoed, ready to go, already ready to paint, so that's awesome, awesome, awesome. This is a giveaway that will be um, the winner announced on May 26, which is um, a couple of weeks from today. So what I'll do is um, I will use the random comment picker and go down into the comment box of this video and I will select a winner from these comments that are on this video. Be sure to put a comment down in the comment section and use the word city to be um, in the giveaway on May 26th. That's a Wednesday. So go down to the subscribe button and click that button. Also, click this like button if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that uh, more than you know. This is Jeannie signing off, your host of Classic Diamond Art. See you next time.